At last, the Line 4 extension for Rio's subway is up and running, as promised. Without it, hundreds of thousands of fans could get stuck for hours in the city's chaotic traffic. The line will transport Olympic visitors between Rio's upscale tourist zones, the iconic Ipanema and Copacabana beaches, and Barra da Tijuca, the home of the Olympic Park, that will host most of the sporting venues. At the ribbon-cutting ceremony, Brazil's top officials celebrated the completion of the $3 billion transit project. Today, Rio de Janeiro is the capital of the state, but August 5th, it will be the capital of the world and everyone will applaud as it is doing right now. The project faced skyrocketing costs and engineering challenges, pouring tunnels through Rio's hills, under shanty towns and high-end neighborhoods alike. It is 16 kilometers long and it took six years to complete. During the Games Line 4 will be available only to those that have credentials for the Olympics or to ticket holders, but it will reduce an estimated two-hour car drive to less than 15 minutes. Rio officials say the project, planned for decades, will be one of the enduring legacies of the world's biggest sporting event. We are going to, to have 300,000 people using that line every day, and we are going to take out the, the, the streets more than 2,000 cars every hour to the, the streets. So it will be very good for the environment, to the city, and to everybody. The last-minute completion of the Olympic subway extension, however, was no miracle. The federal government extended an emergency loan to the state to help the city get ready for the Games. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.